So these, uh, this question, we've got, um, we've got uh, a glider, right? So we've got a glider, and the glider is on a track, and he's oscillating between, what he's, it doesn't say. What we know is he oscillates with a one point, period of 1.8 seconds. So T is 1.8 seconds, all right? And a maximum speed, so V max, equals 46 centimeters per second. All right, what is the amplitude of the oscillation? So if you recall from previous videos, um, I don't have it on my equation sheet here, but V max is equal to two pi frequency times A. So of course we know what two and pi are, but the frequency, I've given the period, so remember frequency equals one over the period, so I can solve for F this way, and that will get me the F, and then the amplitude is what we're trying to solve for, right? So we know the V max, so that goes here. So you know everything except for A, and you can solve for A. Now, warning, you are given this in centimeters per second, and so you may want to watch that in that is that I think you can just leave it in centimeters. I think what I did is I converted it to meters and then I converted it back to centimeters. Um, either way, you want to find the amplitude. Now, question is what's the glider's position at t equals to 0.26 seconds? And again, this is a matter of knowing what the right equation is. It's very simple if you know the equation. So the, the relationship between the equation, I've probably got it over here. Actually, maybe I don't. I don't have that equation in this area. Okay, but the other equation is that the position of something that's oscillating is equal to, because it follows like sines and cosines, it's a cos of two pi F A. No, it's not a cos, it's just cos. No, this is right. I'm doing this wrong. It's actually X equals a cos of 2 pi f t. That's what it is. And so you're just, where is it on the, on, you know, moving back and forth as it moves back and forth and back and forth? You know a from the previous part, cosine, of course, 2 pi. The frequency, we've solved for the frequency here. And in this case, the time was given as 0.26 seconds. And then you can solve for x.